All right, guys, what's going on? This is Will Foreman. I'm just uh, messing around. Uh, I have a problem, and I like to um, create things, I guess. But uh, if I don't work on something, I go nuts. But I get these things from work. They're large soap containers. And what I do is I take the top off of them, and I put a sprig in. Now, this is the first one I made like this when I put the sprig on here. And the reason, don't put your bottle in there. The reason I actually made this is it's a... It's a DIY washing machine. So I'm going to show you um, how do you, boy, if you don't stop, put that in there. If I'm going to show you how do you use this and, you know, it can't come in handy because uh, I've seen people wash clothes in buckets, but I'm going to show you what you can do in this one. All right, hold on. Let's see. Boy. Okay, as I was saying, um, I just like to make stuff. This is something I do. Well, what I have is I have a bunch of rags here and a lot of times, I'm not just going to go to the laundromat. I don't have a washer and dryer up here to do um, the rags. So I'm actually going to add these in here. I'm going to show you how you can do this because I've actually seen this done in a bucket, and I did do it in a bucket at first. But what my problem was I started having was, you know, I would have a lot of stuff. So if I have one load, I could do basically a whole load of my clothes in here, and you might say, well, how do you, you know, deal with your the water and the clothes? Well, my grandson is back here messing with it. Let me see if I turn the light on back here. I have an extractor that I use for the clothes and then I put them on a drying rack. So I'm going to fill this up water and show you how I use it. Also, here's something else you're going to need. I actually bought a plunger and drilled holes in it. This is the next thing you're going to need to to do your, you know, your DIY washer. Now, there is lots of videos on this, and this is actually what the idea I got it from, for if you didn't have a washer, how to wash your clothes. Okay, as my grandson was hollering. But these things like this, you know, you could do a DIY with a bucket, but look how deep this is. It's as tall as this thing. So um, I actually had a bucket once, which I collected from a... Um, and actually bakery, a food grade bucket. <laughs> My grandson be going, oh, and I actually put a hole in the top and I had this in here and I plunged it, but you only can do so many clothes in here. With this, I can do much more and I'm gonna show you in just a minute. Okay, so this is, forgive my tub, I really haven't cleaned it today, but um, it is clean, I just gotta scrub it again. Um, <sighs> Tubs on. I hate these white tubs. So one thing I do is you can take your shower off. You know, I take that off and from the shower, make sure your thing is closed because this thing, I keep the, the, the rags in here. I'm just going to show you something very simple that you can do. And it's just, I like messing with stuff and this is my problem. You know, I've had this problem for years where I like to create stuff. So. I'm going to fill this up, and then once it's filled up, I'm going to show you what's next. All right, so let's we'll shut this off. Again, this is just an ideal if you, you know, if you don't have a, a washer that you could possibly do something like this if you're home. I always believe in ideals of, you know, how to become, you know, more self-sustainable if you don't have. So I just add a little bit of, just a little bit of um, soap powder in. And it's just... Man, this is my problem. I have these ideals. You buy one of these, and this is, I never use this for the toilet. This is specifically for washing because I have a lot of rags in the house. So, this is all you're doing. May not seem like much at the, at the moment, but a lot of times I have too many rags. So, I like to put them in there and let them sit, and I'm going to show you what I'll do next. I got away from my grandson. So, like I said, um, I let this sit for about 10 minutes, and what you do is you just agitate it. I mean, it's the same way. You let it soak for a little while and you just take that out. And when you take that out, you know, like I said, the bucket is fine, but you have to keep dumping the bucket. But this one, when you make the sprig at the bottom, you turn it and the water, after you pull, you have to like pull the rags back from it. The water will come out. And usually I just use this and I'll put this in there to, you know, to stop it, but you know, it stops you from having to bend over and you know, do the whole thing with the bucket thing. But it works fine, I mean, it's just an idea. This is one of the problems I have. My wife gets so mad, I can't wait to get on my land so I can really make shit. I'm gonna make a robot properly. But um, you let this out, 
Once it goes out, you fill it back up, rinse it, and squeeze it out. You don't really have to extract your rags. I can squeeze my rags out and just hang them up. So just wanted to show you guys something I made, um, and it's a DIY washer. I like messing with it, but I'll show you when I'm finished what everything looks like. All right, guys, so that's kind of it. Um, I think it's a great idea to have. My grandson loves to play in that thing, but um, once you get stuff like this, I just have a problem. I like to redo stuff and make stuff, but that is a DIY wash. You can do clothes in them and everything. Um, if you let your clothes soak for like 10, 15 minutes, a lot of your dirt will come out and use that thing to agitate it. The last thing I want to do for it is I want to get a the bubble bath that sits on the, you know, like the side of your tub and put it in there so it can agitate. I can't wait to do that. When I do that, I'll show it to you. So this is just a video on my DIY washer that I just, I, I got a problem I make stuff. All right. All right, so all in all, what you're going to need is a, a drying rack as well. You can get these at Walmart. Um, I found them in the Goodwill for two or three bucks, and I just hang the rags up and dry. Now, fun fact, if you wash your clothes at home and you hang your clothes up, the moisture will actually help you if you have asthma and it'll help you. It just sounds weird. It, moistens, it helps moisten the air in your apartment. So if your nose is dry, wash your clothes and hang them in your house. The moisture will help. I know this is kind of crazy, but this is the kind of stuff I do. I make stuff and I just have that problem, but I don't have a washer and dryer in my apartment. You know, I don't have a house anymore, so I got to do with it. I could get one, but I just don't. All right, guys, I'm out.